Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the donation and transplantation of human organs and tissues. The first thing we have to be discussed is the organ transplantation and organ donation. The organ transplantation is the life-saving therapy for end-stage organ failure. The most commonly transplanted organs are kidneys, liver, heart, lungs, pancreas and intestines. Transplantation is the act of surgical removal of an organ from one person and placing it into another person. Transplantation is needed when the recipient's organ has failed or has been damaged due to illness or injury. When it comes to the organ donation, organ donation means giving part of a body that is organ to a person with end stage organ disease who need a transplant. The organ that can be donated from transplantation includes these organs and small bowel of tissues such as cornea, heart valves, skin and bones too. There are two different types of organ donation. The first one is a living donor organ donation. Second one is a deceased donor organ donation. When it comes to the living donor organ donation, a person during his life can donate one kidney, a portion of pancreas and a portion of liver to a genuine physically ill patient. The living donor is any person not less than 18 years of age who voluntarily authorized the removal of any of his organ or tissue during his lifetime as per the prevalent medical practices for therapeutic purposes. The types of living organ donations include three types. The first one is living near related donor. That is only immediate blood relation are accepted usually as donors like parents, sibling, children, grandparents and grandchildren according to the THOA rules of 2014. Spouse is also accepted as a living donor in the category of near relative and is permitted to be a donor. The second one is a living non-relative donor are other than near relative of recipient or patient. They can donate only for the reason of affection and attachment toward the recipient or for any other special reason. Third one is a swap donor. In those cases where the living near relative donor is incompatible with the recipient, provision for swapping of donor between two such pair exists when donor of first pair matches with the second recipient and the donor of the second pair matches with the first recipient. This is permissible only for near relatives as donor. So these are the three different type of living donor organ donation. When it comes to the second category that is a deceased donor organ donation, a person can donate multiple organ and tissues after his death or, or brain death. His organs continue to live in another person's body. Deceased donor in anyone regardless of age, race or gender can become an organ and tissue donor after his or her death or brain death. Consent of near relative or a person in lawful possession of the dead body is required. If the deceased donor is under the age of 18, then the consent required from one of the parent or any relative authorized by the parent is essential. Medical suitability for donation is determined at the time of death. When we come to the National Organ Transplant Program, the Directorate General of Health Services, Government of India is implementing National Organ Transplant Program for carrying out the activities as per Amendment Act, training of manpower and promotion organ donation for deceased persons. The objectives of National Organ Transplant Program are to organize a system of organ and tissue procurement and distribution for transplantation. Secondly, to promote deceased organ and tissue donation. Third one is to train required manpower. 
fourthly to protect vulnerable poor from organ trafficking and finally to monitor organ and tissue transplant services and bring about the policy and program correctness changes whenever needed when we come to the national organ and tissue transplant organization that is noto it is a national level organization set up under the directorate general of health services ministry of health and family welfare government of india national network division of noto functions as apex center for coordinating all activities and networking for procurement and distribution of organ and tissues and maintaining registry of organ and tissue donations and transplantations in our country the legal framework in india is based upon the transplantation of human organ act which was passed in 1994 it provides a system to regulate removal storage and transplantation of human organs for therapeutic purposes and for prevention of commercial dealing in human organs consequently this act was amended in 2011 in pursuance to amendment act 2011 Transplantation of human organ and tissue rules 2014 have been notified in March 2014. In India, transplant commercialism is illegal. That is, some people in dire financial distress may be willing to sell one of their kidneys. The buying and selling of kidney is called transplant commercialism and it is illegal in almost countries around the world. So my dear students, In this lecture we had discussed the donation and transplantation of human organs and tissues hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment questions the first question is define organ transplantation second one define organ donation third question is write about the types of organ donation fourth one is write about the national organ transplant program Fifth question is write about the National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization that is N O T T O So my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the organ donation step by step procedures so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best